it's unfortunate that when I was here in hospital, my brother and friend, President William Ruto, ordered for the withdrawal of my security from the hospital here. I've been here alone without a single officer looking after me. He ordered the withdrawal of security guards in my rural home in Nyeri, in my private home here in Karen. And all officers who are close to me were disarmed and given warning that they should not be anywhere near me. I didn't know President William Ruto can be that vicious. I'm shocked by how vicious a man I helped to be president, a man that I believed in, a man that I was persecuted when supporting him, could so be so vicious against me when I'm literally fighting for my life in hospital. How cruel can a man be? You know, as we speak today, the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya, regarding Ashagwa, has no single security officer around him. He's alone. And um, I am aware that a judge seated in Kirogoya, another one seated in Midmani, gave conservatory orders, staying the proceedings of the Senate, which effectively means I'm deputy president. But the president in total violation of the court orders, viciously, with due security around me. Again, to cripple the functions of my office, he ordered through the head of public service, Felix Koske, that all officers in my office be sent on compulsory leave. Yesterday, last night, all vehicles assigned to officers who work under me were impounded to cripple the office of the deputy president. I don't understand this level of viciousness to a man who have been your deputy, who helped you to become president, irrespective of whatever he has done. At his lowest moment in life, when he's literally struggling to stay alive, you unleash such viciousness against him. I bear no grudge against anybody, but uh, this had, I had not seen that in President William Ruto. The man I'm seeing is the one is not the one that I thought that I knew. Wilson Airport were told that I should not go through Wilson Airport. All owners of helicopters were told that I should not be allowed to use any of them to go to Kuala. I don't understand. But as I say, I want the people of Kenya to know that as I go home today, I have no security. And uh, it's good that they know. And if anything happens to me or my family, President William Ruto must be held to account. We've made many mistakes in life. And we keep on learning. I trusted President William Ruto. The people Hadi kama vile ambavyo umeweza kusikia huyo ni Rigathi Gashagwa ambaye ametoka hospitalini siku ya leo ambapo amekuwa akipata matibabu kuanzia tarehe kumi na saba siku ya Alhamisi. Ndiyo Rigathi Gashagwa aliweza kuugua ghafla pale kwenye bunge la seneti na akakimbizwa hospitalini. Lakini habari ambazo tunazipata kutoka kwa Rigathi Gashagwa ni kwamba hata baada ya yeye kuugua Kuna mambo ambayo William Samuel tu amekuwa akifanya kuhakikisha kwamba Rigathi Gashagwa ametoka ndani ya hii serikali ya Kenya kwanza. Kitu cha kwanza Rigathi Gashagwa amesema ya kwamba hii njama ya kumuondoa ndani ya serikali ilianza kitambo sana. Na Rigathi Gashagwa amesema kulikuwa na njama yeye awekewe sumu. E, unaona mtazamaji wangu Rigathi Gashagwa anasema kulikuwa na njama yeye akue assassinated. 
na baada hiyo plan kufail ndio sasa waliona wamfanyie impeachment eh, kwenye bunge la kitaifa na pia kwenye bunge la seneti na wamtoe ndani ya serikali kwa hivyo mwaka mmoja ambao umepita hivi ndio mambo yalianza kumwendea mrama huyu Rigathi Gachagua hapa ndani ya serikali ya Kenya kwanza na baada hata ya kulazwa hivi pale hospitalini William Samoe Ruto aliyahakikisha kwamba wale walinzi ambao walikuwa na mlinda Rigathi Gachagua waliondolewa wale personal bodyguards ambao walikuwa wanaenda na Rigathi Gachagua hiyo hiyo siku ambayo alikuwa impeached pale kwenye bunge la seneti waliweza kuondolewa walinzi ambao walikuwa na mlinda kule nyumbani kwake Karen pia wao waliondolewa walinzi ambao walikuwa na mlinda kule nyumbani kwao Nyeri pia hao walinzi waliweza kuondolewa kwa kifupi Rigathi Gachagua anasema kwamba hajakuwa na walinzi wowote karibu na yeye haya yale magari ya serikali ambayo Rigathi Gachagua alikuwa anatumia pia yaliweza kuchukuliwa yakarudishwa kwa serikali e, wale wafanyikazi ambao walikuwa wanafanya kazi kwa ofisi ya Rigathi Gachagua wote waliweza kusimamishwa kazi na wengine wakapewa compulsory leaf na haijulikani kama watarudi ama haitarudi na ni jambo ambalo Rigathi Gachagua hakutarajia kama William Samoe Ruto angekuja kumfanyia vitu kama hivi e, hata yeye wakati alikuwa amekosana na Rais Mustafa Mheshimiwa Uhuru Kenyatta hakufanyiwa yale mambo ambayo e, William Samoe Ruto anamfanyia Rigathi Gachagua sasa hivi mtu ako hospitalini lakini hana hata shughuli na yeye ajampea security hataki kujua anaendelea aje na huyo mtu ndio uliweza kumtumia pale mwaka wa 2022 eh ulikuwa unasimama juu ya magari Rigathi Gachagua anatusi uhuru Kenyatta kwa sababu yako Rigathi Gachagua anakosana na watu wa kwao kwa sababu ya William Samoe Ruto na sasa ndio huyu amemwachilia kinyama anamfanyia mambo ya kinyama yani hana haja na yeye tena kabisa eh, yani mtazamaji uwezi kuamini ya kwamba vile ambavyo Rigathi Gachagua alikuwa anampigania William Samoe Ruto huyu William Samoe Ruto sasa amemgeuka amekuwa msaliti. Na pia Rigathi Gachagua amesema ya kwamba alikuwa amepanga aende akashirikee mashujaa day kule kwale. Lakini ripoti ambazo alizipata ni kwamba yeye hakuruhusiwa kwenda na ndege yoyote. Eh, yaani hakuruhusiwa kupanda ndege yoyote kuelekea kule. Na kwa hivyo eh, bado Rigathi Gachagua anahisi ya kwamba maisha yake na familia yake yamo hatarini na kitu chochote ambacho kitamtendekea aidha yeye ama familia yake anasema kwamba e, William Samoe Ruto ndiye atakuwa accountable kwa sababu ameona dalili ambazo zinafanywa na serikali ya William Samoe Ruto kumdhuru ama kumfanyia mambo mabaya Rigathi Gachagua na Rigathi Gachagua bado ndio deputy president kwa sababu mahakama iliweza kusimamisha kuteuliwa kwa kituo kindiki na kwa hivyo itakuwa inatoa uamuzi zaidi e, kuhusiana na impeachment ya Rigathi Gachagua. Mtazamaji nitakomea hapo lakini usiende mbali. Nitakuwa naendelea kukuletea hizi habari vile ambavyo zinaendelea kutendeka hapa nchini Kenya na haswa ni yepi ambayo yatatokea hii wiki tunaenda ambapo tutakuwa tunajua kama Rigathi Gachagua atakuwa ndani ya serikali ama ataondolewa kabisa lakini dalili zipo ya kwamba Rigathi Gachagua ataenda nyumbani. E, tayari ya hospitali lakini maofisa wake wa usalama wametolewa magari yamepokonywa wafanyikazi wamefutwa e, yeye mwenyewe hata William Samoe Ruto hataki kujua deputy wake anaendelea aje so ni kitu ambacho kilipangwa kutoka kitambo wa muondoe wa Rigathi Gachagua ndani ya serikali lakini cha muhimu zaidi tunamwombea uponyaji wa haraka na pia Mungu azidi kumlinda na familia yake kwa sababu kulingana na vile ambavyo anazungumza Rigathi Gachagua anahofia uenda kitu kibaya kika happen kwa familia yake. Na kuomba uweze kusubscribe hapa BM Daily Politics mtazamaji ili wa kwanza kuzipata habari kundi tunapotendeka na pia uweze kulike kushare na comment ndipo sa ujumbe uweze kwa recommended kwa watazamaji wengi zaidi.